Deutsche Bank warns. A major recession is coming. Deutsche Bank raised eyebrows earlier this month as the first major bank to predict a slight U.S. recession. It now warns of a deeper setback caused by the Federal Reserve's persistent quest to curb high inflation. We're going to have a massive recession, Deutsche Bank economists told clients in a report on Tuesday. The problem, according to the bank, is that even with inflation peaking, it will take a long time for the Fed to return to its 2% target. This indicates that the central bank will increase interest rates very aggressively, which will hurt the economy. Deutsche Bank economists captioned the ominous caption in their report, we're likely to see that the Fed will have to hit the brakes even harder, and a deep recession will be needed to bring inflation to its knees. Why will the upcoming recession be worse than expected? Behind the curve, consumer prices rose 8.5% in March, the fastest increase in 40 years. The job market remains in flames as Moody's Analytics predicts the unemployment rate will soon drop to the lowest level since the early 1950s. To defend its defense, Deutsche Bank has created an index that tracks the distance between inflation and unemployment over the past 60 years and the targets the Fed has set for these metrics. According to the bank, this research reveals that the Fed is far behind the curve today than it has been since the early 1980s, when extreme inflation forced the central bank to raise interest rates to record levels. Economy. Deutsche Bank shows that history will never fix even the Fed's smaller inflation and employment overshoots without putting the economy into a major recession. Given that the job market is over-squeezed at a 2% unemployment rate, something stronger than a mild recession will be needed to do the job, the bank said. The good news is that Deutsche Bank expects the economy to rebound by mid-2024 as the Fed reverses course in its fight against inflation. Goldman Sachs. Recession is not inevitable. Of course, no one knows exactly how this will turn out. While Deutsche Bank is pessimistic, the bank in decline among the big banks on Wall Street, others argue that this gloomy and doomsday is exaggerated. Goldman Sachs admits it will be very difficult to curb high inflation and wage growth, but stresses that a recession is not inevitable. We don't need a recession, but we probably do need growth to slow slightly below the potential pace, which is a way to increase recession risk, Goldman Sachs economists said in a report Friday evening. UBS is similarly hopeful that economic expansion will continue despite the Fed's shift to disinflation mode. Inflation should drop from current levels and we don't expect a recession from rising interest rates, Mark Hafela, chief investment officer at UBS Global Wealth Management, said in a report Monday. War and COVID quarantines suppress inflation. Deutsche Bank said the most important factor behind its more negative outlook was the possibility that inflation will remain permanently higher for longer than generally anticipated. Several developments, including the reversal of globalization, climate change, further supply chain disruptions caused by the war in Ukraine and the COVID lockdowns in China, and increases to support inflation expectations, will contribute to higher inflation than feared, the bank said. Real inflation. The scourge of inflation is back and will be permanent, Deutsche Bank said. If inflation remains high, the Fed will have to consider more dramatic rate hikes. The Fed raised interest rates by a quarter point in March, and Chairman Jerome Powell acknowledged last week that a half-point increase is on the table at his meeting next week. Deutsche Bank said, It is very tempting to take a slow approach, hoping that the U.S. economy can smoothly move onto a sustainable path. This is not going to happen, said. Our view is that the only way to minimize the economic, financial and societal damage from prolonged inflation is to make too many mistakes.